Good afternoon, adventurers. We are here in Disney Springs again. It is really hard to get park passes right now. I, I hope that they're going to improve, or sorry, they are going, hopefully they're going to um, increase the park capacity soon. Um, because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna be extremely difficult this summer to get any passes at all so we are here tonight for a dinner reservation at the boathouse we have never been there before um it is mother's day weekend so it is probably going to be very busy but uh we're gonna go and see what they have maybe have some nice seafood the steady stream of people coming in to disney springs is staggering like, where are all these people coming from? I, it looks like they just dropped off a cruise ship of like 500 people and we're all trying to get into Disney Springs. So let's get a bird's eye view here of uh, coming down the escalator, see what's going on in the springs. It actually doesn't look that bad from here. We'll see how it is on our way through, but at first glance, I, I have definitely seen it busier. Fountain! We're gonna go in and check out Disney style, see if there is any new merchandise. In fact, I see a couple things right here in the window. I like those tie-dyes. That is actually pretty neat. They got a Mickey and a Minnie. Those are neat, I love those. The rainbow merch is out again. They got the backpacks and the ears. I like the so here, Yeah, here are those sweaters again. $49.99, that, uh, that is pretty normal price. Yeah, they got matching shorts to go with all of them. And they, oh, the shorts are 35? Yeah. And then they have Daisy, yeah, they got Daisy in purple and Stitch in blue. I love it. These are awesome. I would I would get one of those. Oh, they got a new Hawaiian shirt here with Sebastian all over it. That's kind of neat. Oh, and they got a transportation, the monorail one too. Not bad. $59.99. I don't know. See, the, I would I would only feel appropriate wearing it here in Disney. So I don't know if sixty of a sixty dollar shirt just to go to Disney would be. I don't know. They even have one over here that's all Disney hats. See the Mad Hatter, Goofy's hat, Jafar, some Mickey ears hat. That's neat. All the hats you can think of. So a bit of new stuff there. All in all, I like pretty much everything that's in that store right now. A uh, good selection of uh, a merchandise. Making our way up into the restaurant section here for uh, Disney Springs on a beautiful day. Not too hot, a little breeze, no, no humidity. I'm loving it. Mmm, STK smells good. I can smell the steaks. I'll tell you, I don't know how long we're planning on staying today, but it is going to be a beautiful night. Once the sun goes down, it'll it, the temperature is going to be just perfect. All right, so we're going to check to see what the virtual queue wait time is for Gideon's here. All right, so the time's not bad. Oh, well, I mean, huh, I, I guess bad is all relative, but it's four hours, which is the same as last time we were here and we checked in first thing in the morning. So I don't know if that's just a general rule. Is it always four hours? I don't know. Yeah, right here at the end of the restaurant area is the boat house. This is where we're going. They got the cars running, the boat cars. What the? I know. You know where that car came from? They were. They drove up from the water. Oh, they got the oyster bar here. Nice. Some shrimps and a whole bunch of those are all oysters. Yum, yum, right? All right, so we're going to look at the store while we wait. This is a really cool restaurant. There's actually a boat right in the middle of the restaurant, and there's a table in it. Yeah, there's a table in it, and there's people eating there. I don't want to get too much video of it, but that's really neat. Oh, some nice necklace medallions. They got a bunch of hats and shirts here, all, all nautical themed. This is neat. It's got bottle openers of a crab shape. That's kind of cool. It's like a plastic fake, yeah. There's anchors and bottle openers. Yeah. My boat, my rules. That's really cute. I like it. Yeah. Problem is you're not the captain though. Oh, I am. <laughs> I might look like I'm listening to you, but in my head I'm boating. Nice. I called in seasick. I like this towel. 
step yeah. aside coffee. This is a job for alcohol. <laughs> This is neat. I was I was a little um, confused as to why they were selling wine in such tiny bottles, but it's actually an umbrella. <laughs> this is cute. If you need a, a rubber ducky for your your pool, they they have celebrity ducks here. All right, so they said our table is ready. I just wanted to show you the bar area here. They got all kinds of boat motors and a kayak. This is really cool. I love the decor here. So here is, we, we got a private room apparently. I guess uh, this is where they seat all the noisy kids. <laughs> but every each, there's there's a couple different dining rooms. They're all decorated differently. Are you gonna look at your men? This one is like, a, I don't know, kind of like a gentleman's club kind of feel. Got a wall of wine over there. They actually have some really nice outdoor seating. And if it wasn't so hot, I would prefer to sit outside, but they got right down, uh, you can't see it from here, but they have a dock that goes down into the water. I hope no one that would be, that would be nice to sit at, as long as it's not going to rain that day. Uh, so they have a giant alcohol menu uh, of all kinds of wines and specialty drinks and beers and Florida craft beers. That's really cool. So if you want to take in some of the local craft beer, selections they got a they have a good selection here for, for boathouse specialties they have coconut mojito blueberry lemonade sounds really good duck duck raz shipwreck and old-fashioned and a couple of margaritas and martinis here here is a look at the uh, selections of oysters for uh, today Here's a look at the actual menu for today. They have uh, the raw bar. There's uh, tuna poke. Sounds good. Lump crab and avocado. Sounds delicious. They got a couple salads here. Uh, fresh market fish. They have some yellowfin tuna, red grouper, and Gulf of Maine salmon. Wow. They have uh, some Maine lobster tail. Shrimp and andouille mac and cheese, sounds delicious. Uh, chicken breast, sides to share. Uh, launch, that I'm, I assume, I don't know, is that, are they supposed to, is that supposed to be lunch or launch? I don't know, what is launch? Is that, uh, I guess that's, that must be entrees. Oh, I think so. I got uh, dips and chips. Or no, maybe that's appetizers. Oh, yeah, launch, that would make sense. Yeah, that must be appetizers. Chips, lobster bisque, some shrimp, calamari, <laughs> clam strips, food, yeah. uh, middle neck clams, interesting. Some dockside classics, they got a shrimp boil, mangi tacos. Lump crab cakes, they have some sandwiches, cheeseburgers, mahi sandwich, an award winning burger, huh? Hmm. Main lobster roll, yacht club, club. They have award winning burgers. Yeah. And a selection of steaks. They started us off with some dinner rolls. They look like they're they're glazed with it looks like honey because it's sweet and sticky. So Star decided to get the blueberry lemonade um, specialty drink. It has Stoli blueberry, Western Sun lemon vodka, homemade lemonade, and fresh blueberries. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little try. No, Ooh, that is good. Isn't that good? Yeah, you barely taste the alcohol. I don't know if it's just because it's not mixed all the way. It's like floating. Maybe uh, once you once you drink all the juice on the bottom, it might get a little stronger. But uh, yeah, that's really good. For starters, uh, Star ordered some um, clam strips. Look really good. And, and it's got like like chipotle tartar sauce. I think yeah, some some tartar sauce, chipotle tartar sauce. You can just cool it. Here, try this, Kevin. And uh, I ordered some uh, a half dozen oysters. I'm going to try I, I'm sure I've had oysters before, but uh, it's been a really long time and I probably never had good ones. So we're going to see how these compare. 
they look really pretty. Like the way yeah, they, they, they bring look the plate really out nice. and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. it looks really nice. Specific. Here, bud. You got a plate right there. Take the plate. I didn't know if there was a certain way that you were like supposed to eat them. Well, you you basically just take you take your fork, press in here. Have a fork. Loosen up the oyster in the in the shell so that it floats around. Away from your mommy. Yep. Julie, would right. you like to try one of these? Okay, and then, near your mom. It's really good. And then there's there's some cocktail sauce here. We're gonna put a little it's cocktail a sauce fruit. on here. Good. And I have what's that? It's it's cocktail sauce. Oh, like you same thing as what you would put on well, I think yeah. mine was already loose. <laughs> yeah, it looks might, it might be. Loose. Yeah, they're pretty loose. Now we're gonna do a little squeeze of lemon here. Oh, that's such a good idea. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they also have butter, but I think I'm going to. Behind you, they have a, a table that has hand sanitizer and it has salt, pepper, oh, and hot sauce. Oh, okay. And so, I don't know if you chew these or if you just kind of slurp them, but uh, here we go. What? Good. It's not bad. It's not something I would order all the time. It's just a special occasion. Because, I, I don't know. They don't have like a lot of flavor to them. But um, it's a novelty. It's nice, it's good. But I think it's just, it's, it's, it's just something to do with this place. Alright, let's try some of these clam strips. They look really good. Good flavor. They're okay, I mean... I'll tell you where I would like to go when it opens back up is the the place over at Port Orleans. The what is it? Boat house, but it's not boat house. It's boat right, boat ship right, boat, boat rights mm -hmm. over at uh, Port Orleans Riverside. They have some delicious uh, calamari. Yeah, really nice. So I, I would like to get that again. So Star decided to go with the filet. That thing is a thick piece of meat, my goodness. Yeah. And some nice uh, potatoes there. We got uh, a side of fries to go with. I decided to go with the grouper, pan-fried grouper. It's kind of small. I, I was hoping for something a little bit bigger, but it looks really good. This is kind of cool. The kids got uh, burgers and they served them in these little um, floaty car type, uh, whatever they're called. And there's fries on the bottom. Yeah, all right, the amphiba cars. And there's fries on the bottom. That's cool, and there's fries. The burgers look really good. Those look like some nice buns. You wanna try? No, I'm good. I've had burgers before. What do you think, bud? Yeah, good. So, all right, let's try some grouper. That looks nice. Yeah, it tastes really good. And the, the vegetables underneath are really nice. Yeah, it's, it's really it's really tasty. I was just, I was kind of hoping for a bigger piece of fish. That's, that's the only complaint I have is the, they should serve a little bit bigger piece. So it's like they are launching one of the Amphipa cars. Here it goes. Man, they drive fast into that water. <laughs> Splash down! <laughs> they have uh, some a musical duo here playing. So our impressions of the boathouse. It was really, the food was really good. The price was very expensive though. Uh, it would definitely, I would, I would put that on a, on a top 10 list for uh, when you have the dining plan. Uh, definitely worth going, but uh, be prepared to spend quite a bit of money on uh, dinner. Um, I would I would actually like to come back and try the macaroni and cheese. I know it sounds weird, but I saw somebody else have it and it looked really good. Now here's the Lego store. They got a Sorcerer Mickey Lego out in front. That is so cool. That will have like one million billion Legos. One million billion Legos, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Elsa and Anna and Olaf. 
Very cool. And there's the Star Wars Legos. Those are really cool. And this is cool. This is Maleficent and Prince Philip. Trying to get out of the sun here. There we go. Maleficent, Prince Philip, Lego set. That is amazing. I don't know if I just haven't been over here in a while to see, but I don't feel like I saw this Lego set here before. Yeah, right? Guy from Seoul. Yeah, over here we're waiting in the world of Disneyland. They have, there's a saxophone player playing for the Q line. Wonderful, very talented, wow. You're hot. Get a closer look here at the guy as we come around again. Amazing. Here we are in World of Disney. Here's a new bag. This is actually kind of nice. I like the uh, like comic book print looking uh, feel. $39.99. It's not a lounge fly, but uh, it's not big. It's a cool shirt. No place I'd rather be. Here's some new spring lounge flies. It's got... Uh, it looks like um, Mickey yeah, shorts. It's all Mickey shorts. Uh, the new Mickey runaway railway type uh, back, uh, lounge fly. That's nice. And they got some uh, matching little uh, wallets for the uh, lounge flies. $50. Wow. <laughs> That's almost as much as the backpacks. Oh, celebrate mom. All kinds of face masks. Although, why do they have the uh, the evil uh, bad guys? There's a, they got some fans here with the uh, Haunted Mansion print. Those are neat. What's this one? Oh, I like that. The multicolored with the castle. Oh, it looks like they have some new Star Wars merch. They got a Cloud City sweater and Rebels shirt, like a baseball team kind of uh, outfit. And they got like a basketball shirt here for Star Wars. Some shorts. I like the shorts. Oh, and they got some t-shirts out for the Bad Batch too. That's cool. Oh, they even have some new uh, lounge fly packs, pride packs. Those are pretty. All the, all the uh, pride merchandise is out. Coffee cups, sweaters, t-shirts. Honestly, I feel like most of this stuff, uh, they just truck out the same stuff year round. I don't, I don't feel like uh, the stuff changes all that much. Oh, these look like some new ears here too. Very, very pink with the gold bow. I like those, those are nice. Yeah, kind of a, 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 a aqua kind of rainbow. I'm not even sure what to call that. Oh, donut ears. Those are funny looking. So I just, they just, uh, I just found another new lounge fly for Inside Out. I wonder what took them so long to make a lounge fly for that. Feels like, uh, been out for a long time. yeah, the rainbow, the unicorn one has been out for a long time, but, huh. All right, well, so some new stuff, mostly apparel from what I saw, but uh, it's nice to come and look and see what's new occasionally. So it's getting quite busy here in the springs. I will say that uh, almost all of the entertainment stages so far that I've seen have had live bands playing, which is nice. It's one of the great things of coming, about coming down here to Disney Springs. If you just want to relax and listen to some live music, there's all kinds of entertainment down here and you have multiple places, multiple stages to go view them at. Gideon's uh, virtual queue reservation 
was just taking way too long and everybody else is tired, so <laughs> we canceled it. We stopped off at the Candy Cauldron as a consolation prize. Not quite as good, but you know, it's the way it goes right now. Um, nothing really new over there though, unfortunately. Same, same old treats, nothing, uh, nothing that special. So that will be all from us tonight here in Disney Springs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now it's your turn. Come on down, join the adventure, and I'll see you next time.